Rakan. Rakan the armor. The peak Welcome, ladies man. and gentlemen, to another episode of the Lord. Oh, this looks like super fast. In this eh? episode, we're going to be covering the second of the Vastaya recently released by Ray. Without further ado, I present you with the Lore of Rakan, the Charmer. Let's Enjoy. Go. Thank you. I will. I feel bad. I don't think he released any videos in a long time. But it's like if he started releasing it. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Where was his, his last video, right? Uh, let's see. Yeah, five years ago, man. See, the thing is, if he not only just kept going, um, yeah, like there's nothing, right? Six years, six years, six years. Starcraft lore, some of that, bro. Right now would be the perfect time for him to join onto the league lore hype because of the MMO announcements. It's like by far, I don't have a lot of views or whatever, but it's like by far the League of Legends stuff is getting the most, especially when I re react to Necrit. It's crazy. On the it's ancient like the mystical hype. borders of Ionia's deep forests live the last of the Lothlan Vastaya. It is a place where magic has breathed like air and time has little meaning. To these chimeric creatures, the mortal realms have become like an unforgiving desert, virtually devoid of magic. Few willingly travel far from their shrinking lands, but Rakan has long walked a riskier path. He journeys along the edges of the world's magical streams as an explorer, emissary, and song catcher for his tribe. An entertaining rogue, a welcome performer for any tavern or village carnival, Rakan was content with the simple adventures of this life on the road, until he had a chance encounter with Zaya at the Harvest Festival in Vlonko. Seeing her in the crowd, Rakan performed one of his old songs, entrancing the entire town with his gleaming plumage. Though countless human and Vastayan women had fallen for him in the past, this violent raven seemed immune to his charms, though not uninterested. How could she see him and yet choose not to follow him? Right. It was a puzzle, with no easy what answer. What a puzzle. <laughs> Intrigued, the battle dancer decided he would accompany Zaire on her travels. He became fascinated by how she interacted with the world, she seemed always prepared, aloof, and focused where he was uninformed, affable, and frivolous. But in any dangerous situation, they fought together with uncanny harmony. Soon enough, the pair became inseparable. After months of courtship, Rakan began to see the world through Zaya's Lordship. eyes. Inspired by his partner's singular drive, he joined her crusade to reclaim the power of the Vastaya and take back all that their people had lost. Through Zaya, he had found purpose, and Rakan had fallen in love. Aww. Oh man. Anyways, that is the last video by Targran. I think it's actually like might be literally his last video since he quit making videos. Let me see this real quick. Videos. What? What's the last video? Yeah, Rakan was his last video. Man, like I wish he would keep going. Because, like, here, look at this, right? Where is it? Like, it's crazy. Look at this. I have, like, no views on anything. But then, Necrit React 866. Like, see, low views, low views, low views. And then there's another. And then you look at, like, Necrit stuff. Look at this, 3,000, 4,000, 10,000, right? It's crazy. Like, I wish he would keep going, though. Wait, why is this all oh, sarcastic? Is that why? Oh, my God, I messed up. Oh, my God, what have I done? Narc, not Necrit. Oh, my. Thank God I fucking checked that out. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, yes, yeah, so that's the end of Targran storytelling. Shit, man. Thanks for the times. Thanks for the 148-ish videos. Oh my god. Anyways, yeah. So let's go on to my next subject.